Well, it's hard to put any words what it means. You know, it's uh, it's a huge honour, and um, yeah, like I said, it's hard it's hard to show how much it means to, to captain your country. It's massive and, and something that you know I thought I could only have dreamt of. So, you know, it's a great honour. But you know, I'm looking forward to knuckling down and making sure that that um, I perform well and and do my job as captain well. What did you learn about captaincy from the from the games in the summer? Um, surprised you maybe? Um, I think you know. I, I tried not to to kind of have it too much in my head. I just tried to play my normal game and and do things that kind of come naturally to me. And and I think you know, speaking up a bit more than than maybe I had done in the past playing for Scotland um, was was certainly part of that. But um, it was just using the kind of the other experience around me and and making sure that you know I, I wasn't kind of in too deep and, and it felt. Um, it felt good. In the past, the announcements have been made as we get closer to to the games. Vern's obviously um, made this announcement quite early uh, before you guys go into camp um, pre autumn tests. How does that affect the way you go into camp? Does it make it a slightly different experience for you? Um, well, I'm not sure. It's never happened to me before. I, I assume that it will be quite similar. Obviously. Um, I've got a bit of extra responsibility as, as captain and, and make sure that I handle myself well and um, you know, um, certainly looking towards the games and um, preparing the team as best we can. And in terms of the squad, the guys that are around about you, Mark Bennett comes in, uh, he's the only uncapped player I think who's, who's in the squad. I mean, he's had a, you know, a good season and two tries at the weekend as well. What, what do you think about the, the contribution that Mark might make? Yeah, I think Mark's a classy player. I've watched him the last couple of years, and uh, yeah, he's he's a dangerous runner and attack, and he defends well as well. So, now I'm excited to see him play in Scotland jersey. Alan Zander and Hamish come in to get experience of being with the squad. From your kind of looking back for you, what did you learn? How much of a boost was it to your, your own development? Yeah, it was it was really beneficial. I remember you know the first time I was including the squad. I don't think I played in. In any of the games, I was on the bench. I didn't get on, but I, I gained a lot of experience just through being in that environment and, you know, training with with the top players in the country and learning off, you know, like older, experienced players in my position. And I'm sure that they'll they'll thoroughly enjoy it. And certainly, um, the get the Edinburgh guys have been doing really well this season. You know, Hamish, I think, has been exceptional for us. So, you know, I'm be excited to see how he how he goes in that environment. Um, three three opponents, four opponents during the summer. Three opponents in the in the autumn and you've got Argentina first up if we can just have a wee chat about each opponent yeah. and perhaps what's similar about them but also maybe what's different about each team you'll face. Yeah well Argentina you know we played them in the summer um, but I think you know it'll be a slightly different challenge now they had a, a home based team I think in the summer and they'll have their guys who play overseas available and um, watching them in the in the rugby championship you know they've been improving week on week and they're a dangerous side obviously up front, they're renowned for their scrummaging and their mauling. Um, but I think if you watch them play, they've they've brought a real offloading game and they look real dangerous in attack. So you know um, they'll be they'll be a real great challenge first up. And, and I, yeah, there's no easy test matches, but um, certainly um, you know that'll be a real tough one. And in terms of you, you, yeah, New yeah, Zealand, <laughs> we all know the yeah. history with between uh, Scotland and, and New Zealand, and, and you know the the best team in the world, that's yeah. that's who you're up against, but I guess as somebody who will, you know, hopefully be captain that day, that's just a magic day yeah. for the first. Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's exactly what you want, you want to play against the best team in the world and kind of show what we can do, you know, like you say, the, the odds are stacked against you, you know, uh, Scottish team has beaten them and it, it kind of puts that, <laughs> makes it pretty special, you know, you, you go out there against the best team in the world um, in front of a packed home crowd and you give everything, and you know you you can have the you can have your day just just the same way that they can. Final opponents Tonga, and I would guess you you're imagining that's going to be a, a physical. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I think all three of these tests will be massively physical. But yeah, Tonga um, obviously um, played them up in Aberdeen the last time, yeah. and uh, we'll be looking to put that right, having having lost them I think, for the first time in, up in Aberdeen. So that's another massive game, and and you know. All, all three of them are, are really exciting and I just can't wait to be involved.